Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Ah, where am I? Hey! Uh, Eddie Izzard, his... Uh, bah, 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 can't talk. Coffee time. Hi, guys. My name's Connor, if you're new. I like to watch things on YouTube. Riveting. I know. Uh, preemptive, like, Eddie Izzard... World history sketch from Dress to Kill. I've been watching a few Eddie Izzard videos. I think I did two, well, one, because one of them got copyrighted. I couldn't upload it, but let's go. And then I see a, a, a few other British comedians in comment sections where uh, I don't recognize the name, and so I'm going to type them in on YouTube and check them out as well. Did I say original link to the video? Top of the description. Below that link to the Discord. Let's go. Do this. Well, world history. Europe, you must do this. Well, we're not gonna. Uh, we're gonna have a sandwich. And Germany and Japan, they, they do seem to have a natural instinct uh, in, in a very generalized way for organization and, and being military. But, the, you know, there's a very strong Green Party there now. There's kids with beards. It's getting okay. And uh, I just um. think that J Japan and Germany should be the, 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 the peacekeepers of the world. They should be parachuted in whenever something breaks out. Parachute Germans and Japanese in. Who go, look, we've done this before. We've done the killing. Hello. Take it from us. Just chill, chill out. All right? <laughs> And then they organize peace really efficiently, really quickly. All right, peace, 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 peace is organized. It'd be brilliant if they could do it. That's their destiny, man. Yeah. And Italy invented fascism in 1922. Mussolini said, right, we're all fascists, but most Italian people are always on scooters going, ciao. I still don't quite understand what fascism is. Like, eh, eh. sorry, I, I, question for a different time. I always, like, I've looked it up a few times and then I forget. Like, then people throw around the word fascism a lot, and I, I, I just, I need to learn exactly what it means. Yeah, I'm pausing during comedy. Yeah. Destiny, Sorry. Man. Yeah. And Italy invented fascism in 1922. Mussolini said, right, we're all fascists, but most Italian people are always on scooters going, ciao. <laughs> and they're into football and life, and they're not fascists, you know. He said, we're all fascists. Uh, all right, ciao. <laughs> No helmet on. All those 50s films like Roman Holiday. It's just like that. Everyone's just cool and hangs out. So after the Second World War, the whole you know, world was going, come on, Europe, give these countries back. Come on, you know, we've had a bloody war. Let's give them back. Britain, what? <laughs> What's that behind your back? Oh, it's India and a number of other countries. <laughs> give them back. Oh, all right. There's that one. There's that one. There's that one. There's that one. Falkland Islands. Oh, we need the Falkland Islands <laughs> for strategic sheep purposes. I have my own theory. Yeah. And then it was a case of no empire, no longer. But in, in America, it was different. The Founding Fathers landed in 16... Uh -huh. <laughs> Basically. They set off from Plymouth and landed in Plymouth. How lucky is that? <laughs> this is Plymouth. Guys, that's a great pair. We've gone round the circle. That's back on the bus. Uh. We finally got there. Said, ah, this is where our God has brought us to. We can, we can practice our religion here. We can raise a family. There's nobody here. Excuse me. There's nobody here. <laughs> yes, a land empty of human existence. Who the fuck are these guys? <laughs> What's all this, please? No, we don't want any of your food. Thank you very much. Put some clothes on. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, that winter, excuse me, do you have any food? <laughs> I love all this, lovely. Idea. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry, we're a bit brusque when we first arrived. We didn't realize you owned the entire country. <laughs> but you have no system of ownership. Hmm, interesting. Um, Where's your flag? <laughs> You have no system of ownership. Hmm, interesting. Um, maybe that can come in useful later. Food, thank you very much. Very nice. Yes, there's more of us coming, but we all keep our promises. <laughs> so the American government lied to the Native Americans for many, many years. And then President Clinton lied about a relationship, and everyone was surprised. <laughs> a little naive, I feel. Uh -huh. 
we, when we were kids, we lied our heads off. I didn't do it. I, was, I wasn't. I was dead at the time. <laughs> I was on the moon with Steve. And your dad's going, I haven't even accused you of anything yet. <laughs> oh, all right. What, what, what's the question? I, I, what, what? Did you brush your teeth? No. Yes. We, what's correct? And it was, yeah. <laughs> I was dead at the time. <laughs> then when you're more mature, you do start telling the truth in odd situations. I'm sorry, I've broken a glass. I've broken this. Is that an expense? I, I'll, I've broken it. I'll pay for that. I'm sorry. And you do that so that people in the room may go, what a strong personality that person has. I like to have sex with people with strong personality. <laughs> And I broke other things, I've smashed that and, and that's gone and I've just thrown the cat out the window and... Ooh, yeah. So, but, you know, perjury, um, you know, if you commit perjury, I don't care, don't give a shit. I don't think you should because you grade murder, you have murder one, murder two. You realise that there can be a difference in the level of murder. So there must be a difference in the level of perjury. Perjury one is when you're saying there's no holocaust when, you know, 10 million people have died in it. And perjury nine is when you said you shagged someone when you didn't. You know, it's... <laughs> What's two through eight? Oh, that was great. I'm loving Eddie Izzard more and more. I don't want to. I keep Eddie Lizard. Eddie Izzard. Zizzard, eh, Izzard. That was great. Don't get copyrighted for the love of Jesus. Christ. Love you guys. Hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.